everyone, what you doing this weekend? It's in the 60s right now, so I know most of you are loving this weather. I'm sure you can hear the breeze going. It's a nice crisp day, but you know what? Anything under 70, I'm ready for my hat, scarf, gloves, and Uggs. So I'm a little chilly right now, but I know you love it. So I would say I've got a few events happening this weekend so you can get up and get out and enjoy our beautiful weather. Now, I know fall and October is a busy time for you, so if you want to relax this Friday, you might want to head on out to Oakland. Um, where they're going to have their jazz in the park. It's a nice relaxing evening featuring jazz music for some of our best local artists. Melt on Main Street is also going to be there with food for purchase, so no need to cook that night, so you might want to head on out there. But if you're looking for a nice action-packed event, you might want to check out the first annual Panic on Plant Street Haunted House, happening this Friday. Check it out, it's high energy, interactive, that's the key word there, they're going to have over 35 actors showing you a different side, a more exciting side of Halloween if you will. Um, it might be for some of you, it's not for me, but you might want to check that out. It's definitely not for kids, but they are going to have adults there to supervise your kids while you check it out. It's just $10 and it goes to charity, so head on out to Panic on Plant Street this Friday night. If you're looking for a nice family event on Friday, um, you might want to head over to Windermere where they're going to have their food truck night and they're going to have a movie after dark starting at 7.30. And appropriately enough, they are featuring the movie Frank and Me. So it's definitely an event for the whole family. Now, if you're over in the Oviedo area, you might want to check out the um, Kids Night Out over in the Oviedo Mall. It's going to be with Mad Science, so it's going to be a spectacular party. It's from 6 to 10 o'clock. It's just $25. Parents, it is a drop-off event, um, so you can have your own date night while your kids are enjoying themselves. They're going to give them a light dinner. They're going to give them a, a spectacular um, science uh, show. They're also going to teach them how to make that ooey, gooey, glow-in-the-dark a slime that they love so much. There's going to be a dance party. Kids are encouraged to dress up in costume. No masks or weapons um, allowed. But it's going to be a great time for, again, for kids 4 to 12. So you might want to check that out. Now there's a couple of events happening all weekend long. And what I want to tell you about is over in Longwood at Nativity Church. Now I want to tell you about this because it is truly something for everyone. There's going to be a $5,000 raffle. There's going to be international food. There's going to be a silent auction, bake sale, plant sale, bingo, Carnival games, carnival rides, uh, trunk or treating, uh, Halloween parade, and there's going to be a tea room and a car show. So like I said, definitely something for everyone there. Uh, another event happening all weekend long is uh, Southwest Fall Festival. It's a free event with free parking and free shuttle service to the event. If you want to ride the professional carnival rides, there will be wristbands for purchase. Um, you can purchase a one-day pass or you can purchase all week for a pass for all weekend long. There's also going to be a beer and wine garden with TVs there showing both collegiate and professional sports on the TVs. And there's going to be live, live music all night long. So you might want to go ahead and check that out Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Uh, oh, let me tell you about some events happening on Saturday. First, I'm going to tell you about um, Busy Box uh, Haunted House. Now, that's being put on by um, Art in the Park. That's Orlando's only traveling art studio, if you will, and this Saturday they're going to be over at the uh, George Belly Park in Winter Garden. They're going to teach your kids how to make um, a haunted house using repurposed and recycled materials. It's just $10 and it includes all materials. It's for 12 and under and parents, your participation is welcomed. Uh, so you might want to check that out. Also on Saturday, if you're over in the Claremont area, uh, Real Life Claremont is having their um, fall festival and they're going to have professional carnival rides. You can purchase wristbands. Kids wristband is just $5 and um, adult is just $10. But again, the festival is free to get into. You only uh, need a wristband if you're going to ride the professional ride. So you might want to go ahead and check that out. There's going to be food vendors and arts and crafts and face painting and so much more. So check that out. Um, also on Saturday, oh, you might want to check out the Orlando Regional History Center. They're going to have safe trick-or-treating and they're going to partner with the Orlando Public Library. They're going to have uh, shaved eyes and um, crafts for the kids to do. And they're also um, going to give out some free books. So again, that's for kids 12 and under as well. So you might want to go ahead and check out the Orlando History Center this weekend. Um, also on Saturday, something you want to know about, oh, is Central Florida's Veg Fest happening in Orlando Festival Park. They're going to have um, vegetable uh, food prep demonstrations and exhibitions. There's going to be um, artists there selling their arts and crafts. There's also going to be food vendors there featuring all things vegetables. Parents, if you want 
um, some tips on how to get your kids to eat, eat more vegetables, this might be a great opportunity and a great event for you to uh, partake in. Now on Sunday, there's a lot of trunk or treats happening. I know Hope, um, Hope Church is having their fall festival with hay rides and candy and uh, trunk or treating that you might want to check out. There's also going to be Masonic's um, Lodge is having their golf cart trunk or treat where they're decorating golf carts. So that might be a fun activity as well. Well, that's all I'm going to tell you about this weekend. I'm Tracy Forrester, your local realtor with Keller Williams Classic Realty. If you didn't know what you were doing this weekend, well, now you know. Oh, I just want to tell you, too, if you want to know more information about anything I've spoken about, see the description below for more details. Have a great weekend, guys. Again, I'm Tracy Forrester, your local realtor with Keller Williams Classic Realty. If you didn't know what you were doing this weekend, well, now you know. Until next week, bye.